What is up guys? Solomon Edge here from Two Bands. So recently I made a trip to a Guitar Center and I got a multiple load of things uh, today actually. And as you can see one of them is a wall mount. I just had to mount the Les Paul, but with something on the Les Paul. That's not custom that's uh, not stock. So as you can see right here, we have some um Strap locks. Now these are Schaefer strap locks, twenty bucks. Uh, what's neat about these things is they're not like normal strap locks. You push the button, you pull on these, which is really good finger exercise. As you can see in my Port Brian strap, uh, there's a little thingy back here. I'm gonna push, and you guys, you can watch. It pops out. Once you pull that, and then you just slide it off. Now it's on top and bottom, obviously. But anyway, and then. The mount I'm using is a Proline mount. So the Proline is a mount pulled about 10 pounds, which I don't know of any guitars that are over 10 pounds. Uh, Les Paul's pretty much the heaviest out there uh, that I know for a uh, six string. But um, so yeah, and I took the strap, the strap pins off of the Les Paul and put them onto the strat, and then I was gonna put the strats onto the PVs and then get rid of the PVs, but I like the PV strap pins, so those are good. Also, Moser picked up a live wire uh, cord so I could use my foot pedal finally, which, this is more or less of a rundown of my equipment, so that was just a few things came off. There's more to come, but first thing to start off, what I use is an Epiphone Les Paul, as most of you know. This is a $1,600 guitar. This is a really expensive Epiphone. Uh, these are Pearl Fret inlays. Got chrome humbucker pickups. I mean, it's just beautiful. And then I probably just increased the price by throwing gold. Uh, not legit gold. They're probably brass, but throwing these gold-colored strap locks on there. So, yeah. Next up, one that uh, Cody was using in the last video, my Squire Strat. I've had this guitar for about seven years now, so this guitar is fairly old. Um, let's see when it was made. Yep, 10. Okay, yeah, so it was made in 10. No, 10. But, you know, this is just a standard beginner one picked up for maybe 400 so it's not that bad it's on a uh it's on an ultra stand which is pretty neat it's an older one i like it now uh, there's the pv back there as most of you can see the pv right back here that's the pv anyway i mainly use a music theory um or not a music theory i forgot what it's called but a, one of these are braided cords. I like braided cords with the metal ends on them. Pretty neat though. I picked this up today, finally. I meant to be getting me one of these. Uh, Super Snark. Neato. Neat a little gadget, you know. Uh, it, it tunes. As you can see, it's vibrating off my voice. So right now I'm at, oh, up C. Wait, now I'm at back to B. And you can go down to where it doesn't even read. Oh, strings I use. On this one, I'm just using some Ernie Ball 10s, 10 gauge strings, which I got more of. I kind of help myself, you know, just how I have Ernie Balls. So, strings. Ernie Ball. Love them. These are uh, regular slinkies, uh, custom gauge, nickel on guitar strings. I'm reading right off the package, actually. Uh, made in America. Freedom. And it says here, guys like Jimmy Page slash Angus Young, um, Steve I, yeah, Joe Perry, Joe Walsh, a lot of Joes. Billy Joe Armstrong, gotta be good. If it's going through Billy Joe. Um, picks I use. Dunlop. Best pick. Perfect pick. 
Um, I fixed my dad's acoustic. <laughs> he did. But uh, C.F. Martins. Apparently pretty good strings from what the guitar center guy said. So I'm going to go with him on that, man. I don't know. Uh, another Jim Dunlop pick that I absolutely love. One of my favorites. My uh, piss pick, as I call it. Um, classic rock. The pedal. One older one. Uh, handed down to me. Generations. It's seen some some better days, but yeah. it's good. He picked it up for sixty nine ninety five and pay a guitar. Nice. Here's the king, Joel. My boss up pedal. This is awesome. Love the overdrive. Just tested it out today. It's pretty badass. Um, I like it. He uses a nine volt battery. Just grabbed a nine volt battery. Yeah. So there you go. It's an alkaline battery. And then I pick this up. Now, I really like this, actually. So, and let me, okay. So what happens is you press this forward. And it closes now. Did you see that action? And then it opens. So you can put it on your guitar through here. Slide it up in there and then just close it off, you know. You know, neat. Little contraction. Anywho, that's most of my equipment. Uh, I do run an amp. I haven't. I have a deluxe reverb. Need to get it. I'm trying to think. Yeah, nothing much else. That's really my equipment. I, I recommend that, like I said, again, start off with the basics. Get a strap. Get a guitar cord. Get an amp. Get a strap. Not a strat and a strat. But even strat and a strap. Now, do I recommend you instantly get strap locks? No, do not get instant strap locks because I know I'm gonna get this. Told me to get instant strap locks. I got crappy strap locks and my strap broke. Well, for one, if you're gonna be using strap locks, buy something like a Fort Brian. Fort Brian. Fort Brian. They're really, really good uh, straps. They're made in America, so that's always good. Propaganda. Gotta keep it going, you know. Everything I own basically made in America, the Epiphone, the Spender, P, I'm not sure. Most of my stuff is made in America, except for my Martin Acoustic strings, which are made in Mexico. But hey, you know, Mexico's helping out America here, man. I'm telling you. Um, the case I use before I run off, I use a sure case. It's kind of upside down, but so I use a sure case for my last Paul when I'm going on a gig or something. You know, pack it in there. Pretty durable. So, yeah. You know, um, thinking about getting a bigger amp. I'm probably going to get more um, wall mounts, you know. And then it, it looks really good. I mean, you know, look here. I mean, tell me. It does that not look beautiful? I mean, look at this amazingness. It's a picture of my dad in the army. Yeah. Makes it look cooler. But yeah, you know. I'm trying to think what else. Oh yeah. Um I don't have a finger slide yet, but I'm thinking about getting it and a capo soon. Uh for finger slides, if you it depends on what sound you want, I choose chrome. Just be careful you don't scratch it. Uh capos cheap. Most of the stuff cheap. I mean this total pretty cheap. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. That was just my equipment. I'll see if Cody can run over his equipment for you, for you drummers out there. Um, again, I'm a guitarist, so for you, those of you drummers who are watching this, sorry. Not much interesting about drums in my room, other than... Thank you, this yeah. saved your door. So, catch you later. Like, subscribe, comment. Catch you.